Welcome to the birth of the reading room. I am so thrilled to bring you episode 99 of the Empowered by Design podcast. This is the final episode for season four, which I cannot believe is here. I cannot believe what a fun, wonderful season this has been. And thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming back time and time again if you are returning. And if you are new here, make sure that you go back and listen to some of the other episodes that we have published here. There are some amazing guest speakers. There are some fun and inspiring episodes. That is the goal, to empower you to live the life and love of your dreams here with us week after week keeping it real (laughs) talking from the heart spreading love sharing the power body mind heart soul and spirit encouraging you to do the same this is a fun fun episode perfect timing for the end of the year my sister-in-law Erin DeBoer joins me again you've met her a couple times before this season and we have more fun in store for you please note disclaimer this podcast episode is for educational and inspirational and entertainment purposes and I trust that you will enjoy it as much or almost as much as we did enjoy recording it. Every time Erin and I get together, (laughs) it is a fun roller coaster of a ride. We have a loose plan and we roll with it and we never know what will come up. And this episode is one of those times where we were both surprised at some of the things that came up and I cannot wait for you to listen. This will be the last episode of season four. Please tune in when we return in February with the Empowered by Design podcast. We have so much fun in store for you. Follow us, keep connected with us on social media at Dr. Liz and at Visionistas by Design. Also, get on our email list. We send regular emails to you, and we will continue to do so through the break in the podcast, our season time for rest and rejuvenation to come up with and create the new content that will be coming in the months to come and it is so exciting this has been a fun fun time of new creations and stepping into the light who stepping into the light and i thank you for being a part of this journey with me i am so excited to bring you this episode and i think you're gonna love it stay tuned Welcome to the podcast, Empowered by Design. I am your host, Dr. Liz, a hopeful, romantic mom of two beautiful souls and partner to the love of my life. As a licensed psychologist, I love helping people heal, grow, and shine. I am a love and relationship specialist and owner of Visionistas by Design Wellness Boutique where we lead with love and empower you to fly. This podcast delivers inspirational stories, conversations, and lessons on the power of tuning in body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit, following your intuition, seeing the signs, and listening to the whispers from angels to pursue your dreams in life, work, and love with intentional vision. Share the love, spread the power, dream, design, deliver. The Reading Room. Okay, here we are. 
our first ever time together with the decks. Yes. We each have a deck. Yeah. All right. Okay. So tell us, so, okay. give us some background about your deck. All How right. did you come in possession of your deck? So we had a an office, Secret Santa, and we had to list a couple of our interests or hobbies. Mm, that is good, though. I'm yeah. sorry. The wine is good. I interrupted you. No. <laughs> it's, fine. <laughs> it's fine. Wow, your bars are really big now. <laughs> when I laugh. Okay. <laughs> the wine is so good. We're drinking wine. Okay, let's yep. cheers. No. no it, I'm, it's because we don't have stems. I think you have to initiate it. it. Oh, That's that better. Okay. See? I, from last time, I learned. Okay. And this is also something Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Something Bordeaux. Something Bordeaux. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, office, Christmas party, Secret Santa. I wrote down, I like all things witchy mm. and also laptop wipes because that was a necessity. So, I did get those as well. <laughs> Never have used laptop wipes but <laughs> I, I must okay it. well I work from home and the first time I went to the office one of my co-workers was like uh your computer is filthy and I was like I clearly need laptop wipes so that's okay that. anyway so my secret Santa gifted me a notebook that says something about being witchy witchy, witchy, witchy thinking witchy, witchy thinking witchy thoughts witchy thinking witchy thinking, witchy thinking. it's here kind of like what are you thinking? What uh, you thinking? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <gasps> Cute, That's right? Just, it's a pun. It's a pun. Oh, Even better. Oh my gosh. I have to go back and tell him now I get it. <laughs> I was just like, oh, this is neat. But now it's better. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Wow. That's why I come here for you <laughs> to help me. And then the third thing I got was a deck of tarot cards. And I'm they so are beautiful. Like so gorgeous can you describe them or let me see the box so the box it says um complete 78 cards deck (laughs) but 78 yeah Mm. botanica oculata you said i probably need my readers okay yeah okay uh tarot so then since you don't have your readers i'm getting everyone's just gonna have to deal with what i say (laughs) oculata yeah, that's it. Um, and this is apparently this deck you can buy on Etsy, and it's the official Etsy witch, a- according Ooh. to my okay. um, secret Santa. Let me see that word. It's oculata, right? Uh, a- oh, is- occulta. A- <laughs> <laughs> that's the only reason. I don't I come know if here. that's how I say- how you say it. Well, but- you're smarter than me, so okay. yep. <laughs> I'm just going to read the first sentence because this is long and I don't want to do the whole thing. The life force flowing in grasses and trees is an important part of nature. I love this voice. Thanks. (laughs) Your oculata voice. (laughs) We're going to make our first signature drink and it's going to be called the oculata. (laughs) That probably means something horrible, but we're going to go with it. Anyway, so... They're beautiful. Every card has a different flower on them or plant. And they're like <gasps> you gorgeous. I do. Oh my I know. Gosh, he really hit the nail on the head. I love it. And But I am going to come here with full disclosure. Mm-hmm. I have no idea anything about tarot cards. Mm-hmm. That's it. Similar. That's the full disclosure. I've had my cards read once. It was a great experience at Witch Camp 2022. It's almost 2023. I know. Can you believe that? I know. But um, anyway, that was great. Yeah, that's it. Period. <laughs> I love it. Um, so what we're going to do is mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. do our very first together. Like you yeah. you did a little bit of a reading or you you shuffled through them and looked at them. Yeah, a little before, bit. Yeah, b- before when you got them. Yeah, you. I. This is my first introduction to your new cards. Yeah, yeah, it is. And we're not opening the booklet. No. So we, yes. We're, full disclosure: we don't know what we're doing. Full disclosure. And that's okay. We have yeah. we. Um. That's what we're we're just being real. Yes. We're coming here real, 
But we're going to do a reading for each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With our cards. And I have a different deck. Yeah. So you're going to do one with yours. And, then, and I'm going to do yes. one with mine. So should I now introduce mine? Or do you want to go through your whole thing? No, I think you should introduce yours. Okay. I have to say, though. Yeah. Like, right now, my body is tingling. tingling. Is okay. yours? No. Okay. Not right now. Um. Like, Ooh, if you know Where, about... What part is it in your body right now? It's always the same. It's so weird. It's right on... It's on my... The backs of my legs okay. right under my butt. Really? So <laughs> mine is my legs too. And right. It's, a lot of times, my thighs will be the... My my thighs yeah. will be the where I feel it like most intensely. But yeah. And then through my whole body. But my legs right. feel it. It starts in like the back of my thighs. And mine, yeah. my, mine more to towards the middle. Like yeah. the inner thigh. Yes. Inner and... Inner, okay. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Good. Okay. So my deck, mm-hmm. I per... Oh, this is interesting. An interesting connection. Tell me. I purchased this on our trip to LA. Oh my gosh. That's when you bought that? This is when I bought that. I have not opened it. I, I have it. I mine are from LA. Too. I know that's why I said interesting connection. Oh my! So God. this is this this is fun. Okay. <clears throat> so my, we went to a beautiful shop in Los Feliz. Oh my gosh! Yes. When we were there in <clears throat> April oh, twenty two, I've Come learned on. how to actually say it like the locals. What do they say? Los Feliz. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! I'm a regular no local now. No wonder we Los no, Feliz people weren't telling. <laughs> They're like, no, I don't know where that is. Los Filas. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Los Filas. Yeah. Okay. Los Filas. Yes. Okay. I get it. It takes a while for it to get in your mouth, right? Because you're like, that's not how it's spelled. Right. You fools. Yeah. It's spelled like Los Feliz. Right. And it Los Feliz even sounds better. But. And I have told every single person that. What are we saying? Los Filas. Los Filas. Los Filas. Okay. Okay. So. One of the stores that we went to had all these fun, like crystals oh, yes. and just collectibles. You bought stuff there too. I, I, uh-huh. It was one of our first stores. Oh. And they had a beautiful, um, like one of those cabinets that have mirrors in the mm-hmm. back and the, they have different shelves. So they had a lot of different decks yeah. in that. And like like we said, the, we're not familiar with tarot cards. I, my... I have had one reading and I don't, it was like an Oracle deck. I don't remember what it was, but there, mm-hmm. what I know about them now, since probably the past two years, I've been like just in connection with different people who do different things, which I love, um, is that there are different, there's a lot of different decks out there. Oh yeah. And different so, variations on how you can read them. Exactly. So I chose this one called the Wild Unknown archetypes deck and guide deck and guidebook on the beautiful box is like a circle in the middle with a diamond yeah looks like an eye yeah surrounded by a rainbowish type there's snakes on it love it and eyes which goes very much with visionistas mm-hmm. there's a candle flame um, the reason I chose this one, I remember like really spending, <laughs> took me a while to pick <laughs> which one I wanted to buy. So unlike you. Oh, I know. Um, there, <laughs> oh, there's also 78 cards. There's got to be something with that. And you know what's interesting? My birthday is 7-8. I know. I, oh, oh, I just got it. Oh my goodness. That, I got the There tingles. it is. Got it. On the back, there's an infinity sign. It says, welcome to the <gasps> wild unknown archetypes. You will find within 78 circular cards in a round box. Circular, circular cards. And a lavishly oh illustrated 224-page guidebook. So we're okay. putting that to the side. We're not going to pull those out. Nope. <laughs> this later. first one, we're just going yeah. willy-nilly. We're just... <laughs> I love it. Renegades we are. <laughs> um, from the wellspring of the collective unconscious, emerge images that appear in the dreams of every culture illuminating our multiplicity and uniting us in the endless story of humanity. This is why I bought this. Yes. These are archetypes. Their limitless potential is yours to behold Mm. as you travel to the realm of dreams, (gasps) visions, and myth. May you always be on the inner quest. Ah, I know. I'm so excited. This is the difference between me and Liz. She just read the entire box to you all. 
I read the first sentence. It was like, mm, that's good. We're good there. And that's basically how we both live our lives. Just like, I've seen enough. I'm either all the way in or all the way out. And you're like, let's investigate let's thoroughly. Let's go deeper. Yeah, not me. Surface deeper. level oh at gosh. best. <laughs> there aren't many layers to me, let's be honest. That's not true. See, that's the part I love about you is you think that, but... And maybe that's why we get along so well because you do you do an, allow the the depth to come. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just don't like to show it. I know. Ooh. All right, is that a pearl? Yeah. <sighs> just got to the inner box after I took the cover off. Okay, so there's another box. I I know it's. Oh, know. it opens. It okay. opens. I was like gonna this. say how many <gasps> boxes. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah, this is. Oh Beautiful. my gosh. Look well, at now this. I'm mad at Will because reject this. none, accept all. This just keeps getting better and better as I keep going deeper, deeper. into the box, <gasps> deeper. Deeper. Okay. okay. And then here is the book, the guide book. which I am not Look how opening. Pretty yours is. Mine is this. Okay, but yours one is by 3 inches it's... little paper <laughs> pamphlet. By the way, spoiler alert, I already know there are typos on some of my cards. <laughs> Instead of the high priestess, it says the height priestess, which that feels right for me. <laughs> it does feel right. But for there you. are typos. I love it. Anyway, there's, and yours is maybe like there's, gorgeous. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh my yours gosh. are circle cards. They're yes. circle cards, black. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> another container. Oh my goodness. It's a another. There are like <gasps> twenty five oh boxes. Gosh. It's like one of those dolls. Res- Russian nesting dolls. Yes, the nesting dolls. Okay. Okay. Let's and then see. A, ri- a ribbon to help you pull them out so you get them all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh my God. Oh it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yeah. This is just the best. It really is. And there are 78 cards. I, yeah. I guess maybe we sh- should shuffle. Well, I have been. Okay. Have, yeah, that's I the whole not. thing. Now, what is okay. the point? How do so I shuffle circle cards? Well, that's on you. Mine are square. Yeah. So Ooh. you're going to have to worry about that on your own. I don't... don't do you shuffle, do you shuffle them like, like that? I don't think so. I think I, it's more like this. Did I mess up now? No. Okay, but I but, did. Yeah. That I'm not good at. You have to just do card. this. Okay. Because, okay, so what I'm doing, I'm gonna, going to try yes, to explain. And I'm going to stop hitting the microphone. <laughs> I mean, Sorry for the noise there. It's like everybody. I don't know how. To, I'm not good at that. Okay, well shuffle, you have to. I'm gonna learn. You just like pull from the back of the deck and shuffle forward. You know? Can you hear it? I can see you doing it. And when you do this it, is something I you're to supposed to get loosey goosey. Not like your hands have to kind of let cards fall. I don't because think. that's the cards. Mine are. They're not shuffling. All right, let me try. Do no, you care I know, if I try? I I know that it's my hands. Oh, they're yeah. just rigid. They they don't do that even to like a deck of cards. I don't. I'm not oh. good at. Sh- I'm very good at the oh. bridge. Yes. See what you're doing. I well, you're in your defense. Teach me how to do that. These are very new, so they haven't. Okay. They're not like worked through yet. <clears throat> See how okay. you just. I kind of used my chest so they didn't fall. Also, okay, we have to sit, also set intention. Maybe I'll try right the now. other hand. Yeah. Go ahead. Nope, that's not working either. This is something I'm going to have to practice. Okay. Which I hate practicing. The downfall of the circle cards. It's not, I bet you if you gave me those, I wouldn't be able to do it. Well, let's see. Now, now it's a challenge. Oh my gosh, okay. You take those. I can't. Yes, you can. <laughs> my God. This person, she has a PhD. <laughs> Except in shuffling. Look at it. What are I you doing, know. Elizabeth? I know. What do I do? Look at you hold them in this hand. You. And you pull back and then just nope. let them drop. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna work on All right. this. That, yeah, we have to just move yeah, on. Yeah, we gotta move I on. Get frustrated. But then. I think yeah. <laughs> I am very frustrated. The listeners are really learning some new <laughs> things about you. Yes. All right. <laughs> So here's the different ways we can play this. There's one way. That's you said we have to set an intention. We do. Okay. 
You didn't do that yet? No. Oh. I thought we had to close our eyes for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's like beginner witchcraft 101. Okay, okay. I what? think we're at least like at 102. Yeah, we went to that 101 class. <laughs> okay, in all fairness, that witch camp was not beginners. No, I know. They were like expecting you to be able to like shift realms. I was not there. <laughs> I was like, I'm only familiar with this very realm. Okay. Anyway. So here's our options. We can, we'll set intentions after I do this. Um, past, present, future. Okay. And you pull three cards. Okay. Or you just shuffle and whatever fall out, then you flip them and tell a story. Or okay. not a story, but like you make your predictions or whatever. Okay. What do you want? Um, I want past, present, future. Oh, okay. Then you have to get involved. You have to pull three cards. From you. From me. Yeah. yeah. And then. Because I'm telling you, right? I'm put, yes. You're reading Are we going to do me. like, just like a reading on our own without the guidebooks? Yes. We're just like this winging it. A, we're winging and it. And then are we going to check if we're right or not? Um, we can do that. We'll do that. <laughs> we'll check it. It's going to be hilarious. We'll check. Okay. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I must pull them. All right. Let me set my intentions okay. on this card. What about, do I set an intention too? Yeah. You have to okay. like uh, think about like some big overarching questions you have, but mm. don't tell me. Okay. Okay. Keep those to yourself. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Pick three cards. Feel okay. like they should speak to you. Like okay. it's not willy yep. nilly here. I don't know, I know. why I keep I saying love... willy nilly. That's I not a thing that I say. I've been saying it so much. Who says willy nilly? You do. <laughs> Today. <laughs> Are they speaking to you? All right. Those three. Those three. Now, we're going to start with your past. Okay. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I heard that these numbers mean something. Okay. But I don't know what. It's okay. We're What's just, saying? this is our first time. This is the Nine of Cups. Actually, <gasps> but this is your past. Okay. Um, Great abundance, right? Mm. Like, you've had a very fulfilling experience in your life, in your past, mm -hmm. and you've had many great successes. That's wonderful. Okay, great. These are short because I don't That's know. fine. No. That's, and you're going to do the doing. same. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Is this my present? This is present. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Pentacles are tricky. That you can just be 100% honest. I don't know anything oh, about I thought, that. Well, look, there's a star. Well, but That's a pentacle, pentacle is also the sign of pagans, correct? Right. Like the demon. A demon, right? No. No? No, I, I don't think, oh. right? Why does pentacle sound? Because in demonic Christianity, okay. we are taught that okay. pagan is... So we must... Bad. We should say that. But it's not. In our... Just in our speaking is... We're new to, newer yeah. to this. We are both raised in the Christian faith, where Correct. at least when I it has like this. Oh, don't don't do this. This mm -hmm. is dangerous. Which exactly. I no longer believe. Correct. We're like We're, not. It's not necessarily evil. It's right. just it was like kind of an unknown, which something that we it's were an taught. Unknown, yes, something we were to taught be to fear from to because fear. it was unknown. Right. But which is yes. I don't know about that. I think maybe if I'm going to go off of Penta, which is five, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it means that you're really in tune with your five senses. Oh my God, I love it. And you're an ace at it. That's why you're a psychologist. <laughs> I love that. Um, but yeah, that's what I think your present's all about. When am I allowed to talk? <laughs> So when I'm done. Okay, 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 okay. When I'm done, okay. you can, you may okay. talk. Okay. Don't interrupt the witch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. My future. Now we have the six of swords. Ooh. 
These swords are janky. They look um, scary. This is the future. Okay, you're saying my future looks scary. <laughs> Thank you no, so much. That's, I don't think I meant that. I just meant <laughs> the illustrator chose a very um, splintery sword. Okay. But Can you pick it up and show yeah. me? Yeah. Okay. Do you need your readers? Should we turn on the lights? We should turn the lights on. We're in almost complete darkness. It's kind of setting my a mood. My is going to this. Okay, you can't talk yet. Oh, okay. sorry. It's my turn. I know. Oh. Okay, six of swords. I so feel like that's like you're going to be up against some battles, but you will be victorious. Like you'll come out stronger on the end. I don't know. I love it. I'm going to tell you my, the meaning I'm making. Please tell from me. All, of this. all right. Is I it, love it going off of what I'm saying or yes. with the cards? And me? the cards. Yeah. And all you. Right, go ahead. And you. So the abundance. Yeah. The First thing that came to my mind, now can I pick them up and look? <laughs> can I touch them? Mm-hmm. Is I mean fun. abundance of love. Oh yeah. From the time we I've always talked about my family as we we did not have a lot of money. We never had we didn't even know we didn't have money. Like that was just not right. even a thing. Right. We always had so much fun, so much love, and I that is to this day the one thing that I treasure in my heart so much about my family is that I we still yeah. have abundance of love for sure, um, and that was what came to my mind when you talked about the nine of cups with abundance, and I love that. Great. And the pentacles, the five. Yeah. Um, I love this this senses that you said. I also thought of what I talk about a lot here is body, mind, heart, soul, spirit. <gasps> <gasps> right yes right yes. yes which is five um i love this card it's it's pretty it is I mean, so pretty yeah, it has like the star in the middle it's yellow there's i love the the plant it's pretty and it's the very eyes. pretty and and the swords which you said were scary <coughs> Sorry, um, I'm coughing. i do think that i when you said i will come up uh, about uh, with against some battles like I I would say some struggles or some decisions decisions that I will be making in the new year that I'm starting to make now about my direction in the new year with the with what I've been talking Mm -hmm. about of expanding and doing Mm -hmm. new things doing speaking engagements doing more travel is my goal coming to LA so my um when I asked my intention, do I tell you now what my question was? You're really not supposed to tell me ever. Ever? Okay. I never will then. <laughs> so I, Maybe for this time since it's a practice. Well, it was just kind of like, you know, we we loved LA. This is what we, it's one of the things that we share. Yeah. Um, and our, you know, we went in April together. Yeah. You've been back twice. You're, you yeah. will, con- you're bi-coastal now. You yes. will continue to return to LA and my, I, when I went there with you, I was like, I, my soul belongs here or at least a piece of it feels mm-hmm. like it's home here. That's how I feel. Yes. With just that energy of, uh, vibration of like positivity and energy and health and wellness and the, the emphasis on, on it. Yeah. Like being mm-hmm. proactive and preventative and like taking care of ourselves and loving ourselves now. For sure. Um, and trying to bring that into my work wherever I go. Um, and so I do feel like this for me resonate resonates like there will be some decisions to make that might be tough that feel like I'm swinging a sword through the vines, um, and mixed with my emphasis on being present, focused, body, mind, heart, soul, mm-hmm. and spirit, and with the abundant love and support that I have from my family and my friends. Yeah. I'm confident that this is going to be an amazing ride. Oh my ah, gosh, you're fun? really good at this. Now, should we see this. if we're right? Okay, let's do it. Okay, I'm are you turning turn this light? Yeah, on. turn There's on the light. There's one behind you. Too. Okay, let's turn on two lights. <laughs> it's dark. Okay, Ooh, I'm excited. Um, I've never even been in here before. Oh, cups starts on 29. Okay, there's a directory. <laughs> there is. 
an index. <laughs> sure is. Okay, nine of cups. Here she is. The number nine helps to achieve success in any business only in a noble way. This is the number of intuition, imagination, generosity. They say that it is patronized by divine protection. Oh my gosh, I love the nine of cups. <laughs> nine means omnipotence. That's not the right word. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I always like from that Friends episode when Joey goes, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Right, right, right. And represents a triple triad. Ooh. This is completeness, fulfillment, achievement, beginning and end, whole heavenly and angelic number, heaven on earth, striving for perfection. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Now we go to the ace of pentacles on page 20 <laughs> there really is a directory it, this is for beginners um this is also okay so each card also has a flower so this is the hibiscus scot scotty mm. meaning the species is found naturally in the tropics and subtropics but we don't care about that um <laughs> classic meaning of the card <laughs> Uh, material benefit, contentment, abundance, stability, fertility, gift, the gift of the gods, material reward, material gift, an embodiment of happiness, mm. fulfillment of desires, mm. material success, and good health. I love this. That's current. Why did they make us stay away from these cards <laughs> All these years. I know. This is great. Okay. okay. Let's talk Love about this. swords. 39. <laughs> okay. And we are... Uh, the That's the six. Four. Four of swords? It's the four. four. No, I thought it was I'm a six. I'm seeing it now. That's okay. Okay. Four, four, fine. four of swords. <laughs> okay. I, it does have the Cornelia the fra, Frail <laughs> Lay. Anyway, we don't care about that flower. The classic meaning of the card. Withdrawal from the world, rest, sometimes, hospital recovery, loneliness, refuge, concentration, prayer, decision, focus on the inside, ignoring the outside, listen to everyone, but decide for yourself, hide in a shelter to heal, don't do anything for the record. <gasps> That's a little, what's the word? Foreboding. Yeah. Like, I don't want to go to the hospital. <laughs> I know, but I don't know if rest. it's like a... I'll take the rest. Like, physical hospital. Oh, um, the mental hospital? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no. Like, no, just refuge, a place to refuge. get feel better. T take some time away. Yeah. The, the word I decisions. wonder why well, the there were only four swords, and I said <laughs> Anyway, um, four. Yeah, interesting. Okay, okay. well, that's I love it. it. Okay, okay, my turn. That was fun to read you. All right, how are we doing this one? How do you want me to do the same past, present, future with these? Let's... Um, yeah, or we can do. Well, yeah, we have to do that because Lord knows you can't shuffle. I know. So I let them fall out. Shuffle. So yeah, we'll do past, present, future. We'll do it the same way. They are shuffled because you shuffled them. I shuffled them the way I know how. I'm going to work on shuffling. And then I'm going to spread these out mm -hmm. for you to choose. Okay. Ooh. Now okay, sure. we're on a circle table. <gasps> there are circle cards. Yes. The microphone is on a circle stand. Lots of circles. Wait, how many? Eight. She's, oh, she's, I'm going to let you grab it. Tight in there. Come on. Let it be. Do you ever go like this and try to feel when your hands get warm? I did not do that. I, but I like that idea. Okay. I've done it before with other things. Because like the energy shifts or something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, here are my three. <clears throat> oh, 
Dun, 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 dun. Okay. 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 I like I want to move this baby over. Oh no, I want it still to hear you. Okay. Okay. Um, past. Yeah. Present. <gasps> oh, these are different, like Future. different, different cards. They are. Holy smokes! Now this is remember the the. Oh, these are a lot of Roman numerals. Yes. I couldn't even. Thirty-seven. Out. Okay. Good start. Thirty-seven. The desert. Ooh. The desert with a hand reaching up to a fiery moon. moon. Crescent. Crescent moon. moon. The sky is a. Deep red mixed with pink. Mm-hmm. This tells me. I'm I'm laughing because I'm nervous. I, yeah. Well, okay. It's sorry. Little, that's okay. You don't have to be. You. you I, I want you to be honest. Yeah. Um. Well, and I know you, so I, I guess that's hard because I know you and I know a bit about your past. Mm-hmm. So, um, just let it out. I would say that. The past that when we feel like I think of the desert and I think of like this dry, this dryness, mm-hmm. like very dry. And this hand is the way I'm seeing it is like reaching up out of this dry, reaching for the fiery power of the moon, which has its connection to a more. Um, I would say more watery, fluid, um, something, reaching for something out of the sand that that may be something to do with your past of like Mm -hmm. coming out of the dryness towards reaching for something different. Yep. Reaching for the light, reaching for promise, hope. It's very interesting. The hand is not fully out, but it's there. Right. The the current. Ooh, this is weird. Mm-hmm. What is that number? It's hard to say. <laughs> I'm going to say that I don't know. <laughs> What is it? Like 58? I was thinking 48. Okay. I was thinking 48. Um, so we're going to go with 48 for now. Okay. The underworld. Mm. Present. Presently. Mm-hmm. Um, on this card, I see some eyes that look and also look like caterpillar type vines. Oh, they're worms. Worms. Um I see something that looks a bit like a planet over here. Mm. Um, and oh, oh my God, there's an eye, like a real one peeking at me. So I love this because it's like, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Mm-hmm. And when we allow ourselves to be present, are you, do you need to take that? Let me just oh. pause, please. Mm-hmm. Elevator mm-hmm. music. <laughs> All right, I'm good. I think that you have a lot going on in yeah. your life, right? Like clearly what we just paused because of you got an alert about Pete. Right? Yeah. Like <laughs> there's always a lot going on for you to focus on. Yes. Right. Behind all of that is something very intuitive, wise, and full of vision. And and I just think that you are in a place where you're allowing yourself to go there, mm. right? Like you're recognizing just how busy life is mm-hmm. and also the importance of making time for you. Mm. You have been yeah. living for others because you've had to, right? Yeah. Like you've had to be hates pancreas right (laughs) um and 
right now you are recognizing how wonderful it can be to, to go underneath that and do you. Yeah. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Okay, and the future. <laughs> 22, we know this, uh, oh. this Roman numeral. 22, the creator. Mm-hmm. This I love because you are so creative. You have so many amazing ideas and you put them into action. You're also a doer. Mm-hmm. So you're a creator. You are a creator because you're creative and then you do it. Like you jump into action. Yeah. This one tells me that there's something big coming that you are, that has been in the works and it's time. And this is happening it look how beautiful that is like all the colors like all of the colors plus the the black like paint splatter around it framing it um like this is on the horizon and it is your it is your time okay tell me your thoughts okay on these three i don't know i'm not good at this well there are three well what are your thoughts as we're going through this desert which i almost said the dessert (laughs) Which is all equally as telling. for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Often in my past, I have felt like I was drowning, which mm. this is kind of representing mm-hmm. that. Because I have, you know, been struggling with a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. M- my own stuff, my kids, whatever. Mm-hmm. Just like literally struggling just for survival. Mm-hmm. So, yes, that's the past. The underworld is kind of interesting because it almost feels like what you going off of what you were saying, like I am kind of going through a transformation right now. Like I am about to like, this sounds so cheesy, but like a rebirth yes. sort of where I am like starting to implement all these things in my life that I've had dreams about, but never really gone for Mm -hmm. and then the future is the creator because Mm -hmm. i'm gonna create a whole bunch of new fun stuff (laughs) i love it i love 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 all right let's see what they really mean oh yes your books over there let me make sure that oh good oh gosh okay it's fine readers back on okay okay are we we're starting with starting with the desert the desert but also the number that's 37 right oh oh i can't wait i just i'm looking through this book oh my god i cannot wait first of all oh there are really instructions here so i again you you know our disclaimer that we don't did not i will be literally cannot wait to read this book right of how to actually read these cards oh my gosh okay contents here we go um so it's selves, places, the tools, initiations are what they're divided into. So the places, of, I guess that would be the desert. Yeah. yeah. 137. 37. The desert. I love this so much. Me do? Oh, the bridge. I know. Okay. Okay. The drought, the wasteland, the badlands. The desert leaves us disoriented, desperate for direction, grasping for meaning, longing for solid ground. For endless miles, we are confronted with a lack of clarity and existential dread. <laughs> your eyes. <laughs> well, it's just like we are, really my Thank past. God it's your past, right? We are thirsty, hungry, pleading with life to get back to normal, to become animated by the simple pleasantries of day-to-day life. The desert offers no such comfort and all must pass through it. If you can embrace the discomfort of the desert, knowing you will someday reach water again, you can tap into the potent energy of the landscape. Its lights are blindingly bright and its darks terrifyingly deep, which makes for unbridled creativity and clairvoyant visions. I'm getting tingles now. (laughs) This is so wild. This is amazing. Truths reside in the desert that otherwise remain hidden. Mm -hmm. The crows, the shadows, and the coyotes call, surround you. Let the winds and sands work their deep magic, weary traveler. (sighs) Love it. 
Okay. Okay. Well. Well, we will. We will have some fun talking about this. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. 48. The Underworld. Okay. This one's a little scary, actually. I'm excited about this. Oh, okay. The Nightmare. The Ordeal. Good start. That's... (laughs) The Buzz. bottom. Okay. Okay. This is no time to mince words. Nope. That's what it says. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the archetypal territory of the underworld is fraught with nightmares, suffering, and pain. It is the darkest shadow realm, which we try vigilantly to avoid or deny at any cost. Try as we might, the darkness pulls us into its steps through disturbing dream images unexpected accidents, illness, war, conflict, and ultimately death. <clears throat> Not loving this cool. one. <laughs> cool, cool. Not visiting the underworld or denying or denying its existence altogether is what gives us danger is what gives it dangerous power. Traversing it forces us to bow humbly to the greater forces that be while summoning their inner strength we previously underestimated. I like that sentence. Okay. Take solace. Take solace that the underworld subsumes everyone from time to time, making us deeper friends, aww, more intimate partners, soldiers of light amid our shadowy times. Ah, oh, I love that. Facing darkness and choosing light is the most profound calling of all. Wow. That one's really deep. Talk about depth with me. Right? But I mean, I love that it tells you no, the, the the darkness. Right. But it says you have you are making deeper connection mm-hmm. with people when you are are here. Right. And we all we all this is not, not this is inevitable right. in life. We must all pass through this at some point. And we, we get to the top. Get to the top. Let's go with creator. Okay. Let's go with your future. <sighs> 22, the creator. The artist, the alchemist, the innovator. Ooh, look at you. I'm <laughs> loving this. I'm loving this for you. Okay. The creator, the first archetype in the trio, no, trio. <laughs> I like trio. <laughs> in the trio of existence is not intimidated by darkness or by lack. <gasps> How beautiful that this came after. So the, the order matters. I yeah. know this. Yeah. The order, the order matters. definitely matters. The order matters. Oh my God, I love this. The, the, the order of yours is so perfect. Yeah. Oh, my God. Crazy. <clears throat> they know that from the void, creation inevitably emerges. <sighs> How about that? How about that for your blog, right? Like, yeah. Of course. Right. This is, this is the story of your life. Yes, it is. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Okay. With meager, minimal, and outlandish materials, the creator reveals a new image. I have like tears. I'm sorry. I didn't think I'd cry on this. I know. But I am. They make the empty room resonate with healing sounds. They generate bounty from the seed that others tossed away. Oh my gosh. You do this. (laughs) No, I don't. Stop it. Stop it. it. I need a tissue. Okay. Well, I don't know. Oh my gosh. We're squished. So too bad. (laughs) All right. Let me use my shirt. Okay. You did this. This is their, this, these are your tears. No, yes, they're not. They are. Stop. You put them on me. <laughs> you did. I'm not that powerful yes, of a are. witch. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Though generative, this archetype annihilates preconceived notions of what is possible. <laughs> So you <laughs> leaving unexpected openings in the wake of its destruction. The creator does this by first being absolutely present to what is, not imagining, not imagining or wishing things were different. And second, 
trusting that a force greater than themselves awaits constant collaboration with each human soul. Whether we call it nature, God, goddess, Shakti, or divinity, it remains nameless. It is the creator's lifelong companion. Oh my gosh. That was wild. <sighs> That's it. Oh my goodness. That This is some wild stuff. Yeah. I, I ha- I'm speechless for a moment. Right. I want cards that are fancy like yours. I love that we have... We, that e- we yours we all share. Yours came in like six boxes. I know. Mine are beautiful, but yours I are feel gorgeous. mine are um very standard. Like mine are normal tarot cards. Yours are like amazingly. You know. Do you know? I do know. <laughs> I do know. Unique. They are. I love my cards. <sighs> I have. Did not, I had no idea we were doing this today. Like me mm. either. But we did. We did it. I love that you also just. I say let's do this, and you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited. Yeah. <sighs> let's. This was fun, and I think cards. it'll be fun. So one of the things I thought was, who knows when, if ever, this will be published on our pod, on the podcast. Yes. But like. I'm glad we recorded our first ever time yeah. reading because now we, we're at the beginning of our reading mm-hmm. cards deck. Like my goal now is to like go learn. and read this and learn and yeah. be able to help mm-hmm. use the, it's just another tool. It's another yes. tool in the toolbox that helps because look at how powerful that was. That right? is so powerful. I'm putting mine back together as we speak. And you, yeah, I'm very excited. We're like closing that. out our session. Yeah. With our closing our Taking intention. some deep breaths. Yeah. Oh, did you set one? I did. Good, 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 good. I feel very good about what was set. What do you feel about what was said? Just if you can... If you feel like sharing just a... Yeah. I feel like every once in a while I get not stuck because I do know that I'm living a version of my dreams. Like, not in my wildest dreams would I have ever thought that I would be where I am today in my career. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel so very lucky. But I, by moving up, you know, the ranks, I've kind of let my creative and my writer side of me Mm -hmm. go because now I'm more managerial. Mm -hmm. But I still have these huge dreams Mm -hmm. about writing and performing stand-up and potentially writing a sitcom. And those are dreams that I feel like are obtainable. I just haven't dove fully in Mm -hmm. so that's why that creator card Mm -hmm. is like okay take a step back go back to like those big dreams you have and like now that I feel more comfortable in my job yep go and I go to I will be going to LA once a month so I can like book gigs out there get meetings with people and I love it yeah I know, I'm just so excited because I do feel like that, yeah, you have it. It's there. I just have to grab it. Allow for time. Allow it. Yes, time. Yeah. But uh, not too Mm. much time. No. No. I don't want to be patient. No, no, no. (laughs) Patience is overrated. (laughs) (sighs) What about you? How do you Mm. feel? Like, I feel like you were very comfortable reading cards. I am very comfortable reading yeah. cards. I, I, I'm very comfortable making meaning of what's yes. in front of me with the person in front. Yeah, huh. I'm very comfortable. I, I don't think it's hard for me. It's not, it does, it just comes naturally. Huh. Um, um, 
I think I'm a bit overwhelmed at how fun this was for me. Yeah. Like I, I feel like when I'm over, I feel like a, what do I say? Like I, I don't want to say heaviness, but I feel a bit like my arms feel heavy, which is like almost as like I'm carrying something that I'm ready to like, I don't know, like mm-hmm. do something It's like with this. You didn't know you had this gift, so now that you know you <laughs> feel like you want to do something, but that feels heavy because it's like a whole nother branch mm. on your already full mm. plate. Mm. And it That's may be the is. thing that well, what I love about it is I know that more will be coming for me in clarity yeah. through my dreams, through yeah. my meditation, through my prayer, through my intuition, through mm-hmm. just time. Um, I'm, I've, I've been, I've been doing some very new things, taking some new risks, and this is going to make all of that. This is pulling it all together. Yeah. Oh my god it's so exciting it's so exciting it's so exciting um I do I kind of feel like it's a little bit confusing about how the heaviness of it right yeah. now like because don't I feel different than I I feel like usually I'm like oh we did <laughs> yeah right. like that and I feel like ooh, there's something big here that right there's something big here that is going to come to right. my conscious awareness. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. That's Maybe exciting. that's why it's heavy because it's... Cause I, and, and then I'm patient. You're not I'm not patient. patient. No. The patience is the, tr- the hardest yeah, part for me. It is. Like, I want it now. Tell me yeah. now. What does this all mean? <gasps> right? But somebody is going to tell you now. I know. I know. Okay. All right. We'll keep you well, posted. So, thank you for listening. Yeah. And we're... Just thank you, because we know where we again oh, the gross. disclaimer. <laughs> oh my the god! Disclaimer. We're rookies. <laughs> we absolutely own that. We are not at all claiming to be professional readers, oh my god. no, um, or anything other than two girls with a deck, <laughs> two, two decks, <laughs> two girls, two decks, two girls, two decks, <laughs> and um, TBD. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode and to this season. Season four of the Empowered by Design podcast has come to a close and we had so much fun doing it. What a fun, fun season this was. Love stories was brand new. You got to meet Aaron and we had lots of fun. We had lots and lots of fun this season and there is more to come. We have so much in store for you. I have so much in store for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Please keep listening, keep tuning in. Please keep letting me know what you would like to hear. Thank you for your reviews and your ratings. Everywhere you listen to this podcast, they certainly mean the world to me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. They also help to spread the love and share it far and wide to other people who who love to be empowered and to love to laugh and also love to cry sometimes or maybe not, but do anyway. Um, Thank you. Thank you so much. I have enjoyed connecting with you here and cannot wait to see you again, to connect with you again in February 2023 for season five of the Empowered by Design podcast. You can stay connected with me, with the Visionistas team on social media at visionistasbydesign.com on our website. Um, Follow us at Visionistas by Design. Follow me at Dr. Liz. And on my website, drliz.com, get on our email list. You will still receive emails even though we will not be 
publishing new episodes of the Empowered by Design podcast during the month of January. We will be resting, we will be rejuvenating, and creating some amazing new stuff for you soon to come. Have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed, lucky, magical new year. And I cannot wait to see you again. Take care. Thank you for connecting on this episode of the podcast, Empowered by Design. For further connection, subscribe to my email list at drliz.com to be sure that you are in the loop for exciting news, events, and resources. You can also follow me on social media at Dr. Liz and at Visionistas by Design. I invite you to subscribe to this podcast and send this episode to one of your people in order to share the love, spread the power. This podcast is designed to inspire, educate, and empower you to pursue your dreams with intentional vision. This podcast is not meant to be a substitute for psychological treatment or a working relationship with a licensed mental health professional. For more information on connecting with mental health resources in your area, visit drliz.com and click on resources. Thank you again for connecting. And remember, trust the heart. Work your vision. Dream, design, deliver.